the history of the Rubik's Cube and how to solve it. While cleaning your room, have you ever looked back at the unsolved Rubik's Cube? Well, look no more! In this video, we'll learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube, so this can go into this. So before that happens, let's go back in time to find out where the Rubik's Cube was invented. The Rubik's Cube was invented by Erno Rubik's on May 19, 1974. Most people believe that the cube was invented to help students understand 3D objects, but this was never the case. The truth is that Erno built the Rubik's Cube to find a way to solve a moving object without all the pieces collapsing. The first ever Rubik's Cube was built using wood, rubber bands, and paper clips. Without these, the whole cube would fall apart. Still to this day, Erno lives at the age of 77 and has successfully sold 350 million Rubik's Cubes. Solving the cube can be difficult, but with this video, it's going to be a whole lot easier. The creator himself took a whole month to solve it, even though he didn't have any how-to videos. Over the years, his net worth has become $110 million. Can you even imagine that? Thinking of an idea, and in the next couple of decades, you become a millionaire. Now that's a catch. How to solve the Ruby's Cube the first step you want to do when you solve the Rubik's Cube is find the white cross. What you're going to do is flip your cube around and try to find any pieces that have white on them that are either at the top or the bottom. So we're going to have flip the green around and then put it to the side and then flip the red back to its original position but then flip it again to get the blue piece and then flip it downwards and now you have the white cross. Sometimes though this is not the easiest way. So you're going to have to build it up and try to solve the cross. Next, you're going to work on the white corners. So you're going to put the orange and the green next to each other. And then you go up, left, down, right. And you're going to repeat this sequence until the white corner is at the bottom. So now we place it there. So now we're going to put this in between the red and the green because it's in between the red and green. Now you can slow down the video if I'm going a little too fast. The simple pattern is just up, left, down, right. It's the same pattern all the time. Up, left, and down, and then right. And then you solve the white side. Next thing you're gonna do is just gonna solve the middle layers. So find a piece that is not yellow. So this one is blue and orange. So since orange is left, we're gonna turn it to the right. And then we're gonna solve that pattern. So since this is green and red, we're gonna turn it to the opposite of green and red. We go left, right, down, left. And go up, left, down, right. And then you're going to flip it to the opposite side and then do the exact same patterns that is just trans. So green orange, so we're going to move it to the blue side and then just repeat the same pattern. The next step you're going to do is going to solve the yellow cross. So what you're going to do to solve the yellow cross is you're going to find, try to find this line. You're going to turn it clockwise, then up, left, down, right. And you're going to turn it back and then you can repeat it again if you really need to. And then you should have solved the yellow cross. The next step, what you're gonna do is you're gonna solve these top layers. So if, if you have two that are already matching, that's perfect. Just put one to the back and one to the right. And then solve this pattern. And now we're gonna work on the yellow corners. This one is already matched because it has green and red, which is already in the middle, green and red. Now you're going to flip the cube over and do the up, left, down, right pattern that you learned. But make sure to always turn it to the right side. If you don't do it, you might mess up the entire cube and have to start over again. And you just do up, left, down, right until you finish the cube. And if you follow these steps, your cube should be complete. Ta-da! How to solve the Rubik's Cube faster. One trick to solve the Rubik's Cube faster is using the white corners. So if you have a white corner that is facing towards you, usually you have to repeat the up, left, down, right a lot of times. To save time, this is not what you should be doing. Instead, turn your cube to the right and use the up, right, down, left pattern, and in one move, it will be complete. If the white spot is at the top, instead of 
doing up, left, down, right many times. The easiest way and the fastest way to do it is instead up, left, left, down, right. So you just have to repeat the left sequence twice and you'll be able to do it in one turn. Now that you know how to solve the Rubik's Cube, maybe try to learn how to solve it faster. Look at other tutorials on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. And maybe try to teach your friend. But sometimes solving the Rubik's Cube cannot be the easiest thing for someone else. So maybe try solve, helping them solve a 2x2. Two two. Or if they're even more advanced, maybe a 4x4 four four or 5x5. Five five. The Rubik's Cube's really gone endless. So just expand your brain and have some fun.